wall, which by the way, if anybody's out there that collects Zippo stuff or neon stuff, they have a neon Zippo clock on the wall that hasn't sold yet. I have no idea what he wants for it, um, but I knew it would be out of my price range. And I, you know, I'm not a Zippo guy. Um, but they, it's a circular clock, about yay big, with a red neon around it, and it says Zippo on it. I think it's got a lighter with a flame. Nice looking clock. Uh, you might want to call Tenderbox in Pensacola and act now because they won't be here at the end of the month. Um, <clears throat> but when he told me, you know, it was now or never as far as pipes go, the last time I was in there, their pipes were um, out of my range, the ones that they had left. They had some, uh, you know, Peter Stuckaby pipes and some. Like, I think they had an estate Dunhill, maybe. Can't recall. They had some Costello pipes and this, that, and the other. Ardor pipes. Um, but they've, I mean, their stock has greatly dwindled. Well, the owner has been selling off his personal collection bit by bit in the store. And uh, I came across a pipe that I really liked. They had two Tenderbox branded Christmas pipes. Uh, and one was from 1986 and one was from 1987. Uh, I really liked the grain on the 1986 and I really liked the stem on the 1987. Um, but they were both 80 bucks. They were priced at $80. And while that's a fairly decent price, especially for a, a pipe of that age, you know, this is my year of not spending money, right, guys? So I wasn't going to do it, but um, he saw me looking at them, and he was like, you know, if you if you want them both, I'll knock $20 off of each. And I said, man, I can't do both. Um, they were selling off their pipe stands, like their display stands, for 10 bucks each. And uh, I really wanted one of those. I wanted a piece of the store. Like... You know, there were two stores I couldn't go into as a child. One was the Tender Box, and the other was Spencer Gifts. And while Spencer Gifts was all about weird, you know, sexy stuff and just, you know, just goofy stuff, um, kids don't care about that. But I really liked the Tender Box because it looked like the manliest store on earth. Not to be sexist or anything, but man, I mean, just like the taxidermied bear, you know, like eight foot bear in the window and it always just smelled so fantastic walking through the mall when you walked by the tender box because they were allowed to smoke in the store back then when I was a kid and uh, I always loved it and I've been shopping there for 20 years and uh, I just wanted a piece of the store but when we started talking about pipes I knew I wasn't going to be able to get the display stand um, but I decided um, he let me buy one of the Christmas pipes for $50 and um, wound up throwing in one of the stands, which was rock solid, man. I really appreciated that. So let me show you what I got. And these are mementos of a store that will be no more in two weeks. All right, here's a tinderbox Christmas pipe from 1987. Swirled acrylic stem. Decent, uh, decent grain. It's got like a bird's eye on one side and some some cross grain on on the other. Um, you're not, you might be able to make out the. Christmas tree on the stem right there and then right here and right here I'm just gonna read it off to you because my lighting never shows that up it says tinderbox Christmas 1987 and it's got some you know some fills in it it's not a beautiful pipe or a perfect pipe by any means but so the other side says, made in London, England. And Bobby tells me that most likely, um, I might have to do some study on this, but he said most likely the, uh, 
this time frame, this was made by Kamoy of England. And I don't have any Kamoy pipes, so that, that was cool. Um, haven't smoked it yet. By the way, it is unsmoked. It came from the owner's collection. Um, personal collection, but it's unsmoked. And I'm very happy to have it. And then I will pan down and I'll show you the uh, pipe stand that he threw in for me. Right here. Just one of their display stands. Got kind of a green velvet. Holds 12 pipes. And there you go. One of the first pipes, well, the first pipe that I ever had an aha moment with um, was uh, the first pipe that I stepped up and quit buying drugstore pipes with, and I bought a Perinelli pipe from this tinderbox, and it was sitting in one of these display stands for 50 bucks. It was the most I'd ever paid for a pipe at that point in time. That was probably about five years ago, and that was the beginning of what now is a just a wonderful hobby that I enjoy thoroughly. And uh, you know, I remember Bobby running that shop when I was a kid, and I'm just real glad to have uh, a piece, a piece of the tender box uh, in Pensacola. All right, guys. I said I wasn't going to tear up, and I almost did. So, you guys have a great day, and I'll chat with you later.